Hello and welcome to the Breaking Bitcoin Market Update. It is Friday, January 29th, 2021. It is a certainly an exciting time to be alive. The markets are doing some unprecedented, very exciting things. How's everybody doing? We've got Alex and Jason in here, two of our analysts. Let's start with Alex. Alex, you get a good night's sleep last night with all the activity in the markets? Oh, I slept like a baby. I'm mostly flat. Right on, right on. Um, I guess you woke up to one hell of a Jericho candle, but uh, we'll discuss how that yeah. affected everyone's trades. Uh, we, got, call me. we got Jason call me, here too. Jason, was call up. me Uncle Jericho. Jason was up really late on. Uh, We're talking to uh, a lot of the new people into the general chat and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of very interesting uh, mentalities coming into the market right now. Yep, there's a lot of new people in the space. Uh, it's very interesting to see what's happening right now. Um, it, I think there's just an unprecedented amount. Yeah, it's retail. almost hard to do TA on it, to be honest with you. But I mean, considering the positions that we're in, at least from my aspect, um, I don't think it actually could have gone better. I'm a tiny bit underwater on my hedge right now. But of course, it's important to remember that a hedge is not losing any money. I might be losing a tiny bit of BTC. But with the alt plays that we had, everyone's talking about Doge, but no one talked about BTS popping off over 100%. And we were in that since the 19th, so it's great to see those all gains coming in at the same time. So, um, I think there's uh, market wide, there's coins making. Oh really yeah, big like gains. I said, I said this like three weeks ago. I'm like, at some point, we're gonna see these things just popping off like spring flowers, and here we are. Like, <laughs> yep, never would have uh, imagined it'd be under these circumstances where suddenly there is a massive flood of retail interest. I heard uh, Dogecoin overnight uh, saw bigger volume than even Bitcoin. So, That's craziness. Uh, I to show you there's an in a night where where bitcoin had the largest uh, four-hour candle it's ever had yes goes to show you there's an army of is retail. that true is that I'm, true go look go find one go find me a bigger one well, you're the one making the extraordinary claim you exactly. present the evidence no well, i'm just saying go find me a 20 percent four-hour candle anywhere else all right let's well, uh indeed I'm I mean, I, it's, we'll have to confirm that, but I wouldn't be surprised that uh, in terms of net value, this could be one of the biggest uh, yeah. candles we've had in Bitcoin's sure. uh, long history. Let's see here. And it's 10 year. It's 10 year. Well, in, in digital time, in internet meme time, this is epic. All right, let me see here. Am I coming in low, guys? Let me see here. Do I need to up my... Maybe I am coming in a little low today. What do you guys think? I think you're fine. I think you sound great. Fine. You're a little low, but little you're not low. hard to hear per se. I might have to up. Low, 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 low. Let's see here. How am I coming so in So low, now? man. It's so go, low. Let me go up a little more. Okay, let me go Jack up might have more. met his rival in the, the general chat last night. A guy really? came in with an even smoother radio voice than you, and he startled me. He sounded I so mean, good. I don't really consider this a radio voice, but... Uh, oh, you guys, drop it in the comments. Do you guys love Jack's voice or what? It may not be a voice for radio, but it's a face for radio. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Always count on my boys here to have my back <laughs> live on the air. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into it. Let's see what's happening in the space. Uh, this hopefully welcome to everybody joining us in the live chat. It's going to be an exciting day here on the Breaking Bitcoin Market oh, yeah. Update. This Boy. is probably the number <laughs> one show you have you're not following yet in uh youtube crypto we've got some of the the best an analysis uh this is not a moon boy channel this is just uh cold calculating trading ninja type moves in and out how, of the market how many how many trades did you lock in yesterday and today that's my question to you guys uh me zero i'm just like i'm talking to like the audience oh to the like, audience like even today like for me at least i closed one uh, DLT 19.42%, uh, XEM 5.99%, BTS 24.32%. Those are all within the last 12 hours. So what are you guys doing? Yeah, what are you guys doing in the live chat? Dear viewers, and the live chat is, a, well, just, it's wild. And you remember our poll from a couple days ago? I know I do. In fact, mm -hmm. let me uh, let me navigate over to the poll. First, let's... Uh, it's amazing what can happen in a few days, right? Let's take a look here. All right, I've got the poll up right here. So we had a poll up a couple days ago, which was, will Bitcoin close out January above 30,000? Well, with just uh, two days to go in the month, we've sure made an epic turnaround suddenly uh 20k does not look so imminent in fact we're closer to 30 now or 40 now than we are to 20 so right in the middle uh, oh yeah yeah you 
true. Yeah, kind of yeah. in the middle. We're riding this 35. You know, we kind of kind of hang around resistance right now. We've pulled back a little bit from this epic pump this morning that took us all way, it's almost all the way to 39. It was 38, 800-ish overnight. Pretty wild price action overnight. All this thanks to Elon. We'll get into that story very shortly. But yes, today's Elon. poll. We posted a link in today's poll. Let me refresh this window to get the latest results. We got 15 votes up, guys. If you haven't yet voted, let me paste in the the poll right now into the live chat. Here it comes. Go. Or to... if you hate voting in things, be sure to like and subscribe instead. That's or you're against voting and subscribing to stuff, why not subscribe to our channel? Yeah. So today's <laughs> poll is, are you still in Dogecoin? Question mark. Are you guys in Doge? Yes or no? First answer available in the poll is, yes, I bought Dogecoin. I'm in it. Anytime. Did you buy Doge yesterday? Did you buy Doge years ago? And you've been holding this thing. Did you buy it during the great Doge TikTok meme fest? Of... Sir, at any time in the last three years, have you held Dogecoin? Yes, yes or no? Yes. If you See, ever... Sir, at any time in the last three years, have you or have you not? Okay, sorry. Yes, do, don't worry guys, we will not be forwarding your responses to the IRS, but you can uh, vote in confidence right now here on the Cracking Crypto Community tab. So, uh, first option, yes, I bought Doge. Second option, no, I did not buy Dogecoin. 33% respondents say they did not buy any Doge. Uh, third option, I am buying and holding Bitcoin and other more legit cryptocurrencies. This option is for the crypto gang in the house who knows Doge, who has passed on Doge who's more enthusiastic about other coins. You're standing around in bewilderment wondering who the hell in their right mind is pumping Doge, uh, all these Xs. But uh, uh, yes, so if you are holding Bitcoin and other currencies that you consider more legit, this third option is for you. And finally, if you are one of the unfortunate ones that are not able to even access Doge, for instance, on Robinhood, I heard Robinhood suspended uh, Doge trading. Um, this fourth option is for you. I've been permanently logged out of Robinhood for my own good. Yes, have you? Uh, are you one of the new people that flood into the server who trades primarily on Robinhood? Are you one of the new retail customers out there uh, who's using a portal like Robinhood? Oh, good. You said retail. I thought you were going to say a different artwork. Uh, yes, retail. And uh, are you? Are you? Um, are you having any? Uh, uh, functionality issues, any uh, any technical issues with your Robinhood app today? today? Any indication at all that they're, they're about to cut you off from your own Robinhood access? Let us know if that fourth option is for you. Currently 0%. I don't think we have too many Robinhood traders in here. We have more of the sophisticated uh, Binance degens uh, in our midst, but that's our pool, guys. Be sure to get into that. All right, let's see what's it, let's see the news. All right, if you're just waking up and you don't even know what happened today, wondering why Bitcoin put on such a powerful performance earlier this morning, well, you guess you didn't hear Elon Musk. Wait, came. wait, wait. Where's the joke option? We were supposed to have joke options too. Uh, Dave, uh, today is much too serious. We could not include any. Today any is jokes. much too serious. <laughs> we were supposed to have an option about a post Malone coin at least. Yeah, we got. We're trying to work. We're trying to work Post Malone in there so we can get more, more hits. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're at a major deficit of comedy raiders here at CC, so we were unable hey, to uh, watch it. Oh boy! I gave you gold. You threw it away. Yeah. And you sold it for Doge. Pearls to yeah. swine, guys. Pearls before swine. Pearls, exactly. yes, pearls before swine. I am not worthy to. Uh, to uh, to to take the uh, the seeds of comedy that you placed before me and put them in the poll. But with that said, guys, uh, Elon Musk changed his Twitter bio to Bitcoin this morning. That's right, Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk changed his Twitter profile to mention only Bitcoin. That's right. Check this out. Let's take a closer look here. I hope this shows up. Yes, it does. Elon Musk just hashtag Bitcoin under his subtitle. That's all it took, guys. Soon after Solid changing takes. his bio, Musk tweeted, in retrospect, it was inevitable. Yes, so he followed it up with a tweet saying, in retrospect, it was inevitable. What is this inevitability he's referring to? It might be the inevitability of Bitcoin washing over the system. It might be the inevitability of the uh, markets closing down on us, this huge run Dude, it was within. it was within minutes? I didn't know that. Epic short squeeze on the markets. This just epic news, um, seemingly developing the the Reddit army, 
is on the march. They're looking to take Wall Street and you know get their heads on pikes, I suppose. And Elon Musk, I guess, is commenting on this. This is a major social commentary today. It, in retrospect, it yes, was inevitable. We, we hate billionaires, but we love Elon Musk for reasons. Uh, I, I, I'm proud of him. The dude's he's he's a he's game. a benevolent uh, billionaire. Uh, even our, if he's our, not, I mean, unless you work in an emerald mine, then I, I, you might yeah. have a different opinion. Well, he's one of my boys, and uh, we will not be <laughs> we will not be uh, talking bad about uh, Elon on the show. But seriously, guys, uh, yeah. So Bitcoin shot up about 13% <laughs> within minutes once the tweet uh, was made public. Uh, the tr currently, yep, yeah, we know we're trading. After publication of the story, uh, Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian and hedge fund manager Anthony Scaramucci also added Bitcoin to their Twitter bios. Yes, this triggered other high profile people in the space to include Bitcoin in their uh, Twitter bios, including, I guess, the Reddit co-founder. Maybe the Reddit co-founder knows what's up. He realizes well, I mean, that there's all this Wall Street bet stuff. I mean, he's kind of probably he's under he's probably um, under under the microscope right now. I'm sure Reddit mm -hmm. could potentially be in trouble, right? I mean, maybe eventually you get a knock uh, on the door from the Fed saying, listen, you know, your 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 website's facilitating financial terrorism on the market. So we're going to have to shut you down. That is crazy. Like, I got to tell you. If Reddit survived four years of hosting r slash the Donalds, if they survived <laughs> r slash fat people hate, if they survived people uh, of Walmart slash jailbait, if they survived all these things, I don't think Wall Street bets, uh, you know, doing a short squeeze on GME is going to get Reddit shut down. I just don't see it. It oh might God. not, but we are living in unprecedented times, gentlemen. So we have to have a different power up on this one. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Scaramucci's a head fund ma hedge fund manager? Talk about burying the... I thought this guy did, like, jack shit with his life. Who knew? <laughs> They're all Wall Street insiders, big wigs, lawyers of all types. These guys uh, get around, in, don't they? Uh, so last month, of course, Musk inquired about converting large transactions of Tesla's balance sheet into Bitcoin in a Twitter exchange with the MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor. Saylor at the time encouraged Musk to shift cash from Tesla to Bitcoin and in what he described as doing your shareholders a hundred billion dollar favor. The exchange came after Musk posted a suggestive image indicating that he's tempted by Bitcoin. Shortly after the exchange, Musk wrote in a separate tweet that Bitcoin is my safe word. Yeah, so Elon, you know, we are living in the era of memetics, guys. Memes seem to be driving market action memetic. right now. I like that. Yes, it's it's a memetic war out there right now, and we've got one of the top soldiers on the battlefield repping our cause. So much love to Elon. Thank you for pumping our bags this Friday. Thank you for space. Hallowed be his... It's a beautiful narrative. Thank you for giving us space it. back. Yes, well, we live in the world of narratives, and... Uh, and tweets and memes so and witch hunts. welcome welcome to the new battleground guys this is the the ground is shifting quickly under us i hope you guys are armed and ready for uh minecraft combat of course no real uh insurgencies guys please we're not doing that here let's keep looking we've got another story this is the second story today this is all i'm really going to cover because i know we got to get right into the charts we got to get to doge we got to get into what's on the mind of our audience this one is of course dogecoin withdrawals get complicated during the parabolic price increase well doge uh seems to have made a run unabated i think it tapped almost six cents overnight and pulled back i gotta take a look at the chart i have not really looked at it it's eight over eight cents actually holy crap well that dogecoin withdrawals apparently go figure getting a little complicated during this time some big name exchanges have suspended doge withdrawals as the token sees unprecedented interest i heard there's coinbase outages galore uh seems like uh, as all this interest and money is flying into the system not even crypto to some degree can keep up but yes global cryptocurrency exchanges are increasingly experiencing issues with doge withdrawals and redditors pumping the altcoin up 900 percent in the past two days on thursday a number of crypto users reported on twitter 
Everything good? Okay, good. I thought it was weird. I got cut off. Um, no, 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 no. I'm thinking about missing out on 900%. Like, uh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, on Thursday, a number of crypto users reported on Twitter that they were unable to withdraw their Doge due to crypto exchange temporarily halting withdrawals. The affected of exchanges reportedly included some major platforms such as Polonius, Polonix, Bittrex, and Yobit. All right, so if anybody on here is dabbling in Doge, uh, I mean, this probably doesn't apply to the Robinhood users, but if you are on one of these yeah. uh, exchanges that does offer Doge, uh, let us know. Have you had any issues uh, executing orders or withdrawing? Do let us know. But some crypto users reported that signing in on Dogecoin supporting exchanges like Poloniex to buy Doge to only find out withdrawals were unavailable shortly after depositing. Oh uh, boy, that doesn't sound too good. Yeah. That's not good news for Doge dabblers. Ooh, Doge dabblers. Yes, so a bit troubled out? withdrawals. Doge apparently you tumbled from the top 10 spot. Dollop a daisy. Binance.us, the US based Binance site, also apparently suffered issues with drawing Doge. The coin saw uh, some briefly slump, blah, blah, blah. All right, we get the point. Doge, one of the biggest benefactors of this ridiculous uh, alt, alt pump. What happened to Jason? Jason, come oh, out. Oh, he's okay. here. He's here. Never mind. My oh, mistake. Sorry, I actually joined the general chat for a second. I accidentally clicked on it. No Someone's worries. like, hey, that's the oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to hop into the live chat. I'm going to shout out all the peeps with us this morning. Should be an exciting Friday edition of Breaking Bitcoin. Let's see what's happening today in the live chat. All right, first one here today. Hopefully this is accurate because I refreshed the window. Hopefully I didn't lose any live comments. First one here today was Richard Bond. Final markup before the move lower to 16K. All right, we've got some uh, bullish sentiment here coming out of the gates. Apparently this is just a big bull trap, the big fake out. We still have room to drop. I'm sure our analysts uh, uh, have that still at the top of their mind don't you guys do you think we're gonna yeah i mean it's absolutely I'm considering it. yeah i mean if you go back um bflow actually pointed this out to me beautifully last was it september or something like that it was almost the exact same thing where we had a big old jericho to the upside and everyone got all excited then we sold off way harder so i mean it's still well within the realm of possibility i think that this is an entirely entirely different animal now be considering the press and like Elon and what's happening with the traditional markets. So it's really hard to tell right now. We was just talking with Alex about this, like from a technical aspect, like th these are getting difficult to read now. Yes, it's becoming uh, very unusual. It's very bizarre what we're living through. So it's, uh, it's tough Historic, to say if, sure. we, if we can count on prices just... Uh, still dumping to the 20s or filling those cme gaps uh maybe they will but uh that remains to be seen let's see here crypto bulls in the live chat shout out to crypto bull doing a great job on the daily timestamps. Hey, uh hey. we got we got b flow in here saying alex you beat me to it not sure what it was mr ether robert warner is in here nobody has seen his face indeed i think i am missing some comments here there must be uh comments uh no i think the they're replying to me saying that you had a face for radio Yes, uh, I know that, but uh, just had to bring that back up. Huh? Wondering why I don't. Well, oh, I mean, it's on topic. It's what he's saying. I beat him to it. All uh, right, looks like I might have. Uh, some of the early comments were clipped, but let's keep moving. Blockchain Gaines says so many gains can't focus on one. That's very nice to hear, Mr. Gaines. Uh, Jose Alves, one of our channel supporters, is in here. Shoutouts to you. Uh, Mika Smith says, I basically never trade. I'm too distracted with everything else and all my other projects. I'm just here to Wall Street cry or to see Wall Street cry. Wonderful. Uh, we got Bird in here saying Doge pumped a thousand percent in 24 hours was surely legendary. Yes, this is one for the ages, guys. You're going to be telling your grandchildren stories one day of where you were. So when Doge, nice. During, wow. During the epic Doge pump of 2021. Much wow. Uh, Peckham 08, what's this? So Statement without fact, what is this? The U.S. Capitol now charges... All right, all right, all right. Let's not get too far into all the Capitol talk. Subtext is in here saying hello. Nice to see you, Tups. Subtext, thank you for joining us on a Friday. Ancap Futures is in here saying he shorted XRP last night. He's made 2,000 so far. Wonderful, wonderful. 
Uh, Mr. Ether, I shorted Doge, he says. Mika Smith, I mined some in 2014, held on to some, so no, I've never bought, bought Doge per, per se. Ah, but you mined Doge, so you're holding some, so congrats. I hope you are taking this opportunity to dump dump all that stuff when all this liquidity is in the markets mm -hmm. here to absorb it. All these noobs. Don't go sleeping. All these Robin Hood noobs, they're here to absorb your Doge dumps, so get I heard cracking. some pretty hilarious conversations last night, so... The liquidity is there. Yes, Vic st stacking slot is in here. We've got mixed mix, aka J Soul saying rob my hood. Yes, he's been robbed of my hood, not Robin Hood. Interesting. Uh, let's keep it rolling. All these people have been shouted out. We've got Mr. Unicorn in here, who's of course one of our channel supporters. God bless you, Mr. Unicorn. Thank you for your support. We have Adam Cohen in here. I did run a DCF model on Doge, and their valuation is justified, so we're good. Yes, Adam Cohen ran the numbers. It's official, guys. Doge, <laughs> Doge numbers all add up. The project makes sense. Project makes perfect sense, guys. Um, some other noob was on a friend's Facebook telling me he made a hundred thousand in Doge when it was at eighty. I told him, "Hey, maybe you should take some profit." Yes, subtext. I think you counseled them wisely. I wonder if they took your advice. A hundred thousand in Doge. Wow, what a day! What a day! Uh, let's see. Who else do we have in right here there. before we get into the main uh, analysis? Let's make sure everybody is with us and shout it out appropriately. Sakatis, how come they didn't have stop losses? Not sure what the art lights do. Let's see, Mr. Ether I mentioned. Pekamo8 I mentioned. Spree McGee is in here. I like that name. Spree, Spree McGee. McGee. Welcome, Spree McGee. David Rice is in here. Mr. Unicorn, I mentioned B Flow, I've mentioned. All right, I think Spring I've got everybody McGee. shouted out. If I missed anybody, my apologies, but it's so nice to have you guys here. Kind of a really wild week. What a way to wrap up the final week of January. Am I right, guys? This is it's, certainly yeah. exciting. I'm running on adrenaline. Here's the thing like, I might like just get out of my hedge here if we dip below just to get out of it for the weekend because I really think that we're going to see some volatility here that's. Like more sideways, but well, yeah, and I think that it's gonna do me no good to try to trade the weekend, and you're likely gonna see price return to where it probably closed. But like, I just don't like the way that it's making me feel about the charts right now. You feel in some kind of way. Some kind of way. Yeah. Well, I was saying it last night, like in the members' lounge. I'm like, I don't know what it is, guys. Like, it's totally a gut feeling, but like, I have a feeling that there's there's some fuckery afoot. And then all of a sudden, go to bed and the biggest Jericho ever. Like, I'm like, there it is. <laughs> Ego killer band in a live chat. Crazy days, guys. Yep, we are living in crazy Very. days. Quick look at crypto bubbles before Exciting, uh, we though. get into the charts. Of course, Doge up over 100% on the day, probably even more. VGX. Uh, Voyager token do another another big day, 80%. Sci-Coin up 30%. File transfer token 15%. Why isn't BTS on there, man? It's uh, up over 100. Verge up uh, 54%, 54 and Phantom up 35%. Why is BTS not on here? I don't know. It seems Bubbles is a little selective which coins it shows off yeah. on here. But yeah. congratulations. Yeah, it, it, it discriminate against my positions, huh? Congratulations on the BTS trade, Jason. We are certainly well, going and to whoever's take... in it. I know B Flow is in it for sure because that's how I found out. He's like, dude, BTS, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> All right, we've said enough. Let's uh, let's dive into the main scene here. All right, I've got Alex's chart up. He's currently looking at the Bitcoin perpetual future swap on FTX. FTX, by the way, which added uh, tokenized uh, assets uh, to do with. GameStop, AMC, and others. Oh I yeah, heard. they added they added Nokia, GameStop, AMC, and uh, all the things that they've halted trading on other things. BlackBerry, BlackBerry uh, wow. futures. So wow. they added those, and um, I I noticed the subtextually asked to look at. There's like a Wall Street bet contract, and I think it's like a conglomeration of the different Wall wow. Street bet stocks in the same way. There's like Dragon Perp and Alt Perp and stuff like that. Uh, but she's right. It's a brand new contract. I don't think there's anything we can like really do with it. Yeah, it's, it looks like this. So this is the amount of data that we have. It looks like it's going to go down for, for right now. But uh, that's really all I can tell you. There's this, uh, this right. bearish divergence that's in the process of playing out. 
Well, you heard it here, DJ and Gamblers. You can get on FTX right now and uh, long the long. one, the, the long the stock. The man doesn't want you to long. All right, I'm gonna one last <laughs> thing I'm gonna mention before I mute myself and Alex get uh -huh. out with the show. Um, I'm gonna go into the yeah. live chat right now, guys, and start collecting your requests. If you dropped a request at the very beginning of the show, uh, most of my live chat's been cut off, so you might have to repost it. So, yeah, just to be safe, if you post a request, repost it in the live chat. I'll collect it now. Much much love, everybody. I'm going to get to work on queuing up these requests, and I'm going to leave Alex in peace and Jason to uh, to talk charts. Be right back. Charts? So this is, uh, this is the 12th hour. This is the one that we've been looking at for this descending triangle pattern that we've had here. Uh, we just did not get completion, and now, um, as far as I'm concerned, the pattern is broken. So we've got a breakout above the descending, uh, you know, the, the downward trend stride, sort of the descending uh, trend line right here. Uh, we've broken back above the thirty-four thousand uh, dollar support level that we've been eyeing as resistance here, support here. I'm expecting that we will likely find some more support in this spot. If you're trying to find a way to sneak back into Bitcoin, I would look towards the $34,000 area for an entry. Um, let's head on over to the daily because I want to show you kind of an alternate view for why even though things are, are tentatively bullish, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. And that is the fact that we are... We're still into the daily baseline, guys. Um, our oscillator is still below zero. We're still we still have negative momentum right here. This is all still within the realm of you know yeah it's still bearish. So let's uh, see if I can get the point of control in this area. Where where is it? So the point of control down here is still much stronger, uh, but we do have can't even see it anymore. There's just too much volume up here. Here we go. It's a little bit more visible, I think, on CME futures. There we go. So we've got volume up in this area. We've got the daily baseline here above us as resistance. Could be an interesting baseline bounce short trade on the offing here. Basically, it's going to depend a lot on how today's daily candle closes. If we close strong today, we if we do catch that support near, uh, you know, roughly near thirty-four thousand, so be right here on the CME, which makes sense. We were looking at uh, here, we're looking at Bitcoin perp before. So thirty-four thousand is this level right here. Hey, uh, I just got a message in my DMs. Uh, for the record, we are not a pump and dump group. We don't pump coins. If there's a coin that I think looks good, I'll tell you guys I think it looks good or I'll think it looks bad. But mm -hmm. I don't chill coins in that way. We're not a pump group. If, you, if you're if you into pump groups, I won't even like denigrate you. It's like, fine, if that's your thing, whatever. But we're not You can not make that. it work awesome. Yeah, yeah but... we're not that thing. We're not that thing. So we're a trading education group. Uh, we put up some signals. But that's more in service of continuing to teach people how to make signals of their own and stuff like that. So I yeah, I don't I don't want to be rude about it. I appreciate you reaching out to me, uh, but we're, I'm not going to pump any coins, uh, period. So yeah. that's that. Anyway, onwards. Yeah. We don't even advertise coins on here, as you guys see. We don't we don't even we, we just like to look of, at the charts, bud. We have tons of advertiser interest, guys. But in the for the sake of our audience, our membership, we don't we don't just come on here to shill stuff that we're paid to shill. Nope. Like I said, we're cold. We're calculating. We're all business guys. We're not here to, to you know play with our members. But let's uh, let's keep it rolling. Um, I think what's really interesting here is that we did get follow through on Bitcoin dominance. So we were getting the bounce in this area and I told you guys we, were, we had to watch it that if we were going to get a bounce, this would likely be the area that we got it from because we had historical support here at 63%. We had it here, we had it here, and I was thinking that we were going to have it here too. We had resistance back over here in this area. So we, we did get that and overnight Bitcoin pumped way more than any of the other ones. 
Uh, so Bitcoin was up at roughly 12 13 percent as of this morning. It's, it's down 7 percent right now. Uniswap tokens. What did I say, guys, about buying stuff at resistance? We're still just hanging out. You would have thought, it's like, well, surely if Bitcoin pumps, the alts will at least pump with it and we'll still go through. It didn't happen here for Uniswap points, mm-hmm. did it? Dragon Perp. Mm. Still underneath the daily baseline. I wouldn't consider this super ba- bullish. I mean, it's it could be more bearish. We could have just like fallen out here. But I would still be looking for a, a short to crawl into here. DeFi. Mm, I was expecting a stronger follow through after yesterday's higher high, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's what we were, we were talking about. It. It's like, hey, DeFi made a higher high, unlike alt perp, un- unlike shit perp, etc. So it's very interesting. But we haven't had much follow through here. Let's take a look at lower time frames. Eh. I, I will say this is looking relatively weak. I don't like the way this is just hanging out here at resistance, but we don't we don't necessarily have a short signal here yet. So Priv Perp is interestingly did make a new high today. We could get some follow through here on Priv Perp and I think this is a I think this is a long signal. Let's zoom in here. Yep, we made it above the dead zone. So, boom, this is a full long signal here on Priv Perp. Maybe we'll take this at the end of today. This is really interesting looking. Let's shoot on over to XMR and Zek and Zen and see what looks good. XMR still doesn't look good. We're still below the daily baseline here. This looks like AIDS. Or Zek. Looks like AIDS. Yep. No, still below the daily baseline here too. I'm not really super interested in this. Zen. Where Zen's kind of strong here. What made Priv Perp pump so hard, though? We're not seeing a similarly sized pump on any of these other ones. Smaller Grin, Beam. Are, are those? No. Beam. Huh. Wait, I think KMD is on the list. So, still doesn't make any sense. It's interesting. I'll have to I'll have to take a look at that a little later. But we're getting a signal on the PrivPerp contract, which should mean privacy coins are looking good here. Uh, I guess it's going to really depend on how today closes. If we wick back down here, then you know we don't have the signal after all. Exchange coins. We made a new high. We're not really holding it right now. Still below the daily baseline. Shitcoins still at resistance here. Still getting resistance from the daily baseline. We're still not interested in this. Hmm. Well, this is a long signal too for us. So we closed we closed this new long yesterday. I was looking at this and we just we didn't have enough momentum to take this trade. But we're getting the signal today to be able to take it the wick has me a little suspicious but at the same time you know the signal is what it is we will consider consider taking this for mid cap so i don't know you know yesterday we had DeFi, which made a new high and then we really haven't had any follow-through we had uniswap which was threatening to make new high we, we you know we touched here and then for the last few days there's been no follow-through we've gone below the daily baseline here i don't want to make the mistake of being bearish even as the system starts to give us bullish signals but it's got me a little concerned uh that there's not more follow-through on DeFi and uniswap that uh that even though mid perp made such a you know made a new high that we've got this just this big rejection wick right here. And same thing kind of happened on ship perp. I thought for sure this was going to pop off before any of the others. Like ship perp has all the low caps, mm-hmm. so and low caps were looking primed as hell, especially with all the Doge stuff happening. Like 
a lot of charts that I was going through last night, like seemed like a lot of low caps were really setting up. So that does kind of shock me a little bit. Yeah, but here we are still underneath the daily baseline right here. Um, I guess, I guess, guys, I I still need that confirmation that we've been that we've been talking about. I, I like Bitcoin in this spot in, in the sense that I. I said we had to hold 30,000. We did hold 30,000. We broke the downtrend stride. Uh, you could maybe score a reversal long around 34K. I imagine we may retest the highs here again and just completely wreck shorts. Uh, this, I imagine, already did a number on shorts, but this, I'm sure there's still some people holding on. Uh, but I would like to see them all shaken off here. Dixie's still having a strong day, though. We're up today, down a little mm -hmm. yesterday, just kind of hovering sideways, basically. But we're hovering sideways over support. We, we reclaimed 90. We've reclaimed 90 for quite a while now. We're just holding it. <coughs> Sorry. Not at all. You are allowed to cough, sir. Uh, not in the house I used to live in. Dow, tell me, guys. We were talking about this. I've been telling yeah, you how weak that, the Dow looked. Look at that swan dive we've been talking about. Does the Dow look weak to you now? Hell yeah, it does. Hell yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, I've been telling you guys. You know, Hell and yeah. everybody, everybody's been calling for the Roaring Twenties, and I've been telling you this has been coming for a while. Here we are, back below resistance, below the daily baseline. QQQ. This is this is short territory now. QQQ is short territory. That was short territory. Spy is in short territory. Look at that. Finally broke down from this. Look at this. Look at this fake out up here. This is like a four week long fake out. Screw you. Assholes. Anyway, we're on to them. We see the short signals. We got it, guys. Look at this. Look at this weekly short signal. Look at that. It's time to head for the doors on the traditional stock markets, I think. And for that reason... It may be time to, we may be seeing fake outs on Bitcoin right now. We're still hovering at resistance on the alts. I want to see really strong follow through on any of these before I, I, before I unhedge, before I get out of, of cash, because I would, I, at this point, I, I mean, I had a good year. Alts did, alts did me really well. I know alts did a lot of you guys really well too. Bitcoin is up like 400% from, you know, a lot of people's buy points. It It's not bad to sit in cash for a little while, guys. And, and if you miss out on some gains, you miss out on some gains. We talk about that, about how hedging up, you don't actually lose out on money. It, But it's still hard. It's hard to see the gains happen. It's hard to miss out. But you know what's even harder? Losing money. That really stinks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just... Gosh dang, it's not very good. It doesn't feel yeah, very if you good. Think not getting three hundred extra dollars is bad. Let me tell you, having three hundred fewer dollars is even worse. Oh yeah, especially when you're looking at gains that you just locked in, or you didn't lock in, but you're like looking at the thing. You're like up three hundred dollars. You're like sweet, and then a second later you're down six hundred. Like how did I just swing nine hundred dollars? Like, well, you're probably over leveraged. But. Well, it, that happens all the time to a lot of people. I'm saying it's happened to me in the past. It doesn't happen anymore, but I get the feeling. It's just like, what? Like, Yeah. Uh, here on the SPY, I think I'd love to see a retest of at least the 360s, if not the 340s. So I, you know, timing is everything in the markets. I've been, you know, I've been really bearish about the markets since probably the traditional markets, probably since November. Mm -hmm. We've been watching it kind of trade sideways here. Since November, we've been inside of this rising wedge pattern. You guys, you have watched me watching this rising wedge pattern for quite a while, including this fake out. And this was almost convincing. We, we talked about this. It was, we, we were here above resistance. We were above the daily baseline. And we were just kind of waiting for a good long signal, right? It was like, okay, we're going to wait for a long signal and we'll take it. You know, I guess I was wrong. But... You know, here we are. So I, I think, especially after this fake out above, and now we're back below it, I'm really convinced, guys. I, 
I, I think it might be time to head for the hills on the market. So, um, mm-hmm. as I said, I am, I am mostly in cash. I've been mostly in cash since uh, since portions of December. Like there have been a few times I've got, come back out of cash and gone into alts a few times. But last night I closed out some more of my alt trades. I uh, just uh, they put in a few extra highs, and I was like, this is this is actually a really good spot. You know, I'm up two x or three x on this alt position. You know, if you if you held for December and stuff like that, I'm sure a lot of you you have all positions like that. There's no shame in taking profits, guys. If you have to get back in at a higher price, you got to get back in at a higher price. Mm-hmm. You didn't lose any money. You did not lose. You did not lose any money. You didn't lose any money. Did we lose any money though? You didn't lose any money. Oh, and okay. No, it. Yeah. So. Um, anyway, I, I think I said my piece there. I, I mean, hey, you can see the sell signals for yourself. You can see the red for yourself. And you can see the fact that we're breaking down yourself. Uh, make of that information what you will. Uh, let's let's do some chart requests. Yep. I feel like I um, I did like a decent broad overview right now. Let's, I, But I do want to come back. I want to do Forex. And I want to do um, CFDs, precious metals. Uh, because it's a Friday... Um, and we're going into new week and, uh, this crazy, this crazy shit is all happening right now. So let's, let's do like a real broad market overview, but let's, let's get some chart requests some out of the way. I'm sure some here. Perfect opportunity to get a yeah. few requests in, uh, excellent analysis, uh, this morning, Alex, you definitely brought the fire to the TA here. I'm breaking Bitcoin this Friday. Uh, let's see. I've got quite a few requests lined up. Uh, perfect opportunity for me to uh, shout out all the new people in the audience right now. If you're tuning in, guys, I have logged all your requests. We will be slowly getting to them. You might have to wait patiently just because we've got a lot of requests stacked here. So if you're just putting in the request now or in the last couple of minutes, you're at the end of the line. And i got to stop at the start at the top of the list. So let's get into it. Alex is ready to do next request super simon in the live chat says apes alone weak apes together strong that's right guys yeah a very very important quote from Planet Ooh, of the ah, apes Apes, hold on to those bananas stay away from snakes yes don't we- you touch me you damn dirty ape sorry let's get your hands off me i know but i wanted him not to touch me and i didn't want the copyright strike Oh. All right. Next uh, first request comes from Jose Alves. This is Seller Network, C E L E R Network. This All seller. right. Seller door. Mm. I kind of really like the weekly here. Uh, we're we're at resistance in this spot. That's the only thing that's giving me pause. And I think last time you looked at we looked at it, that was the thing giving me pause then as well. Let's head down to the daily. Ooh. We do have follow through here. That does look good. You know what? This is a long signal. I think you it's should. It's definitely I a long signal. Look at the look, look 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 at BPVR as well. Like how it drops yep. off. I mean, you're you're gonna slice right through that stuff. Yeah, I think you could probably take this up to like twelve cents or so. I dig I, it. We we made the new high here. We're above zero on our oscillator. We're crossed up. Watt is firing. Everything's good to go here. We're even kind of back below the qualifying line, so there's really nothing preventing us from taking this as a long trade at the end of today. Uh, yesterday, uh, I think I even looked at this yesterday. We just we weren't there. We didn't have the momentum. Uh, we were still below resistance, but now today, now I'm convinced this could go for it. I, I, I mean, it's not 100 percent, guys. It's it's yeah, an edge t- on the market. The, wait till all daily these close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're still, you know, placing a, a trade that has a statistical chance that we could be wrong, but there's less chance we're going to be wrong because we got all these things telling us, hey, thumbs up. So anyway, thumbs up, Jose. What's yep. next? Shout outs to Jose Alves requesting seller. Jose, by the way, is got the green channel supporter status. Sounds so like we... he's more of a buyer than a seller. We do. <laughs> no. uh, yep. But thank you for supporting the channel. Not the guys with the, the, green, park, the green in their names are close to our heart let's keep moving along we've got uh... thank you for giving us money that means a lot to us no seriously as a channel supporter no i think money. that's the the the, all, the dopest thing you could probably do for us because you guys don't yeah. know us you yeah. come here every day and listen to us we don't like expect that from you but the fact that you do it is incredible so thank you very much yeah money talks guys we're passionate about what we do here and 
definitely don't go uh, shilling nonsense. We don't go taking advertiser money to shill on your heads. We don't sell your information to third parties and all that. Uh, you know, we're one of the most honest, transparent, and legit companies in the business that you probably never heard of. Don't sleep on cracking crypto too long. And tell your friends. Yeah, tell your friends and do check out that premium.crackingcryptocurrency.com. You can Bam. offer so much stuff there. I can't even get into it all, but do check it out. This one comes from Mixed Mix in the live chat. He says, uh, he's asking, I guess, the one inch DEX. Probably requesting one inch. Let's take a look at uh, that. Yeah, let's look at one inch. One last inch time I looked at it, doing. it was kind of trading sideways at its new high. Yeah, last time I looked at it too. I think it's sitting around like three bucks right now. Yeah, exactly. So, made a new high earlier this week, and now we're just trading sideways since we made it. Um, it's looking like we may just get a quick pullback towards 250, and then uh, I would say I would be more likely to think there's a continuation. Oh, hey, Jack, can you turn up your mic just a little bit? A couple members. Yep. Uh, wherever I, I'm hearing you. I see that. Very, did you, very did, odd. Did you take your Did you take your headset off for a second? Nope. Um, I don't know. It maybe. sounded like it sounded like you were just talking to your computer instead of a headset. That's what it sounded like to me. Uh, very strange, guys. Not too sure what's going on. The microphone seems to be acting up today, but uh, I'll try to fix it. Thank you for the for the input. Thanks for the input. <laughs> okay, that's that, that's like a Johnny chart. Like, what does that mean? He's like, eh, screw yourself. <laughs> I would feel just a little overextended. There from this spot, it would still be relatively bullish, even towards like two dollars, a dollar seventy-five, like this area right here. It's like a nice consolidation area. We just we, we don't have a sell signal or anything like that yet. I would suggest that right now there's nothing for us to do, but in, in my to my eyes, we're overextended. We're just hanging out at this new resistance level, and we're just probably gonna pull back. And, and retest some key levels especially because obviously you guys know that i've been feeling bearish about the markets as a whole so i'm not eager to rush into something that's at these uh you know rather atmospheric highs we're up mm -hmm. in january we're up almost well i'll start from here but it's it's even lower you know we're up over 200 300 percent so a pullback Something like here, a 50% pullback even. Yeah, it's even less 50%, like 47% pullback. I think that'd be totally normal and okay. Uh, even relatively bullish, but that doesn't that means you probably wouldn't want to buy right up here. So yep. Uh, what's next? All right, segueing into the next one. Still kind of self-conscious about this uh, low mic, but I'll deal with that later. Here we go. Next one comes from. Uh, oh, oh we got. Fine. We got. Yeah, all right, it's terrific. Louder than ever. All right, thank God. I might have made some tweaks that did the trick. Might have to turn it down now. All right, subtext requests: Ethereum USD, Doge USD, and the uh, Wall Street Bets index. I guess is the zero three two six uh, thing. I handled the Wall Street Bet thing for her. Let's look at. Let's look at Doge and let's look at Ethereum. Let's so, do it. I actually, I don't think I, I focus in very strongly on Ethereum today, so this is good. Uh, on the weekly, we are still getting weekly sell signals here. Uh, that being said, this weekly candle looks relatively strong. Like this is this is kind of us. This is resistance. We break through. Now it's support. This feels kind of bullish here, even though we're getting the weekly sell signal. But it's going to be heavily dependent on how we finish out the week here. Today's candle looks ugly. Uh, it, it really feels like we've got a bunch of shorts up here that someone is filling bags on, just pumping up into this area. You would think that we would, you know, if Ethereum is so bullish, we would be making new higher highs. But we've made lower highs on lower time frames, right? Let's let's get on our baseline. Uh, 12 hour, we did get above the baseline, but now we're back in the no trade zone. Daily baseline bounce reversal short. We're still below the daily baseline here. I think, I think altogether, I'm still bearish on Ethereum here. I uh, just, this chart on its own, not 
looking at it, you know, the way through the perspective of, uh, you know, all the other charts the way I did earlier. Just from here, I would say we're looking for shorts on Ethereum. We're just waiting to get below zero here uh, and we'll, we'll be good to go on an Ethereum short. So uh, I know you're in a hedge. I think you're still okay. I, I'm sure you're sweating it, but I think you're still okay. I think you're still okay. So next up is uh, Doge. Let's look at Doge. I think people are get, getting super dumped on right now. Um, yeah, for sure. I talk, I rip to all those people out that were uh, talking about how they're going to be a billionaire here soon with Doge. Yeah, I would suggest probably a pullback towards like two and a half cents. That looks right to me. Uh, we did just get this break of trend. So I imagine we may retest up a little bit here and, and fool some people. There's certainly a lot of people who are, have their eyes on it, who, you know, who are looking to long it more and want to be fooled. Have have faith, young Padawan. We are going yeah. to a dollar doge. Yeah. Here's our hourly baseline. <laughs> See, we're, we've really kind of uh, wilted below it here. And this is a, we had a short signal an hour ago right here. Oh. New hour started. Happy 2 p.m., guys, or 1 p.m., wherever it is, or 5 p.m. somewhere. All right. So, yeah, Doge is tentatively a long backup towards six or seven cents, and then uh, epic dump down towards two and a half cents. Epic dump. So, I am thinking something along the lines of. This. Screw Something you guys. Along the lines uh -huh. of buy. We made you buy. We made you buy. Uh -huh. All right. Anyway, I this is that's obviously purely speculative. Whenever I draw out a price action, but uh, but that's kind of what what I'm seeing. I am expecting a, a movement back up towards retest the highs. This uh, volume right, right up here, but ultimately to break back down towards two cents. So uh, let's go. What's next? All right, let's keep it moving. Of course, the uh, the crypto side of the market is a pathway to many consider uh, to abilities that many consider to gains that many consider to be unnatural. How about that? Mm -hmm. All right, enough Star Wars yeah, references. Just for easy now. 20, 30 percent a day, like you do. Yeah, exactly. Just to yeah, easily... just, like it's gonna be easy, guys. Someone literally said this to me yesterday. He's like, he just got into the market. He's about five days in, and he's like, I, well, here's the thing. Like, I think that I can easily do 50 to 30% a day here. And then, I mean, maybe I'll settle, settle for 20, but this should be pretty easy. That was a legitimate sentence someone said there to was, me. <clears throat> there was a lot of noobs that came through the general chai story. It was a lot of fun. We hung out with a bunch of new oh people my God. in the community. It, it blew my mind. I don't it stressed think they me out even, more than trading. I don't think they even knew where they were, and they started to really yank on, on Jason's chain. You know how Jason's... Uh, you know, what's that word? I literally um, was just trying to, get, like, I'm not the type of person that's going to tell you what to do or whatever, but I am the type of person that will definitely listen to someone who does something more than I do. They have more experience. So I all, know, all I'm trying to do is get that out there. And literally someone told, dude, I made $500 on Doge today. Don't tell me what to do. I'm like, I'm not telling you what to do, man. <laughs> basically, a bunch of noobs piled into I the Discord. I made $500 on Doge today, man. Dude, and and he said it with all sincerity. I thought he was joking at first. And then also, I'm like, oh, my God, this guy's serious. You know, yesterday. <laughs> was seriously something to behold in the live chat in the in the discord i couldn't believe how many people came into the voice chat dude it blew and my mind these guys i guess were new and uh they could they couldn't get a reading on jason's power levels you know the scouter was telling them <laughs> the scouter was telling them jason well here's is, the funny uh, thing is people don't know that midwest attempts is jason apparently so I they're all like hey, well, screw it, this guy dude, majority of those people did not even know what discord server they were in they just thought they were That's here to true. talk crypto they just thought you were just some regular goon coming in there to rain on their well parade. here's the thing I am a regular goon. I just take it a little yeah. bit more seriously than they do. Well, you were basically uh, kind of hiding your, your power levels, and uh, yeah. they, they greatly overestimated you. So it was basically... Under. They underestimated Oh, yeah. Overestimated. Yeah, under, under, oh, over. Well, either way, I wasn't... They weren't... They definitely weren't picking me I up was, on the I was up too late, guys, and I didn't even have coffee yet, so I'm yeah, a little he was up to like 3.30, man. Oh, dude. We stayed up even later than that. All right. Let's... Um, 
Let's Rip. get into the next request. But uh, thank you to Subtext for uh, the ETH and the Doge uh, requests. It's always a pleasure. Let's move into the next one. This is from the Bricks in the live chat. He's requesting Dot, Kasama, and Ocean. So let's maybe knock those out one by one. All right. So we'll get some Dex action going. Bring the Dex. And yes, that whole rally of people in the in the chat that was thanks to Mr. Ether. So quick shout out yeah, to Mr. Ether. Yeah, Thank shout you out to Mr. Ether. Dude, you do a, a just a ton with the general community. I which is would super suggest to you that this is still a short. We were just talking about this the other day, how we were kind of waiting for it to get below zero and uh, give us a short signal. We're basically there. We could three bar rule it at the end of today. We'll have you know we've got the volatility back here. We've got momentum. We're below zero. I would like to see the momentum come in new. I, I, I don't like using a full three bar rule. I mean, I like maybe stretch it to one to two bars, but um, yeah, dots are short, man. We got all this volume above us as resistance. I mean, you can see it right here. We got all this volume right here above us as resistance. We got the baseline above us as resistance. And uh, we've got like clear blue skies, but we're like hanging over a cliff. We're like Wiley, Wiley Coyote chasing, uh, chasing Roadrunner here. We ran off the cliff and we just haven't realized it yet. So, and, and you can see on the weekly too, total loss of momentum. Wait, where, where's the momentum? Where'd it go? I'm with you, Jack. I really like that username. Bree McGee. So I would suggest to you that uh, if you're looking to buy Dot, I really like eleven dollars this this little this little bulge right here on uh on vpvr i uh, like this spot it was kind of resistance as we came up there let's put it here you see a little bit more think of it as resistance support for this area so we'll just come back down kind of retest the previous high area before we get a continuation right here on dot eventually you know sometime in february or march or whatever Whatever happens, happens. Either way, I, I'm, I'd totally be out of dot here. Yes, Sam. Uh, slightly stronger. We did make a new high yesterday, but so far that's been kind of counterfeited. We uh, we're back below resistance here. We're back in the no trade zone. There's nothing for us to do on KSM. If we close the day back up here, then that would be totally alone. That would I'd, I'd totally be in for that because then we'd have we made a new high and then we retested and then closed above support. Wow, sign me up for that. Tote, but totes. yeah, it's totes my goats. Yeah, <laughs> but if we reject here, then don't sign me up for that. As a matter of fact, take me off your list. So. Mm -hmm. That's that's my feelings on this. And what was the uh, what was the third one, Jack? Third one was Ocean Protocol, please. Ocean. All right, Frank Ocean. No trade zone, bearish divergence. I say get out, man. We don't have a lot of data here, but from everything that we have, we're, we're at resistance. So this is the horizontal resistance right here. See, we're tapping at it. We're falling below the daily baseline. We've got this bearish divergence on our oscillator. Our momentum's going negative. Yeah, everything says get out of it, man. So head, head to the dollar. Get to the dollar. What are you doing? Yeah. Get out. <laughs> Talk All to right. Get out. Just get out. Yes, get out. Sage advice from Alex, out. lead analyst here at CC. Let's keep the ball rolling, guys. We got a lot of requests in here. The the uh, the. The general chat is percolating like crazy. Uh, we got a lot of requests to knock out. Uh, yes, anybody uh, posting requests, rest assured, I am taking them all down. And we and will get to them slowly. if you like rapid fire technical analysis, be sure to like or subscribe. And or yeah. subscribe. That's yeah, and right. if any of you, if any of you still do, watching. if any of you still do that Twitter thing too, uh, make sure to get over there and like the CC page as well as mine because we're trying to get this word out there and it's can't do it without you guys. That's right. Yeah. All right, let's keep the ball rolling though. Uh, back to Alex. We got 90 people watching, but less than 50 likes. Really, 40 of you guys don't like us? 
I'm hit the like button, hurts. guys. Hit the like right. button. But there. let's let's get back into the TA. It. Let's get uh, Alex, the Tommy Gun of technical analysis of YouTube. Another yeah. another request. This one comes from Spin Dizzy in the live chat. Can we look at Bitcoin Cash, please? He says. BCH, what's yeah. that doing? Right. When's the last time you heard BCH? I thought that the crypto world was just Bitcoin and Doge. I know. I am keeping my eyes on this. If we can get a break of this downtrend, which we may, uh, even at the end of today or in a couple of days, that would be a long you could take. You could probably take it back up towards 530 bucks. In that case, maybe even maybe even the $600 range. Uh, if we broke this trend line. And I would actually be, I think, a little surprised if we didn't break up from here. Uh, we're just a little overextended from the daily baseline. This is like really far mm. above us. And uh, that's I would love some to... some pretty quick movements as well. So you would expect some kind of retracement at least up to the baseline, you know, for a swing. Yeah, and, and especially because I was looking at BCH Bitcoin earlier today and we're retesting the bottom like right now. So if we were going to bounce on the Bitcoin pairing, this is basically the area that we would bounce from because it looks so bearish. We're here retesting the bottom. And of course, when things look the most bearish, that's when things tend to, tend to turn around. So I, I, would give, uh, I would give BCH a, uh, I would keep it on your watch list. It's like not mm -hmm. there today, but it could be there any day. We just, we got, we got to. We got to break the downtrend until we do. Um, I would, I would be hesitant to enter. I think that's good. And you can take that to the bank. Yes. Take all that all the way to the crypto bank, guys. Let's keep the ball Get rolling. The Thank you for the BCH analysis. And that's the way the news goes. It certainly is. All right. Uh, this next one is uh, we've got three different people: Spree McGee, Victor Ivan Sada <laughs> Zadi, and Rolly Aban. <clears throat> Excuse me. All requesting VeChain V E T. One says, "Can we get a VET analysis?" The other says, "Is VET looking good?" And the third, VeChain, please. What's all the buzz that, about that? That, that, that must mean it's doing something. It must have already moved. If you guys are nope. asking that question. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, it hasn't. Hmm, weird. I would suggest to you it does not look good. We are here below the daily baseline. We are, uh, we're in short territory here. We're in short territory here. Uh, I almost took a short on it uh, the other day, but we uh, we kind of had enough short. Uh, There's some bullish diversions on that. Yeah. We could still take this today. Um, it's below the baseline. You can't take that. Anywhere. It's way too below the baseline. Nope. It's the qualifying line. We're almost there. Oh, for a short, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no man. I was like, wait, what? I thought you were just about to say a long. Like, what are you smoking? No, I'm. I'm saying V chain looks right for a short, man. Yeah. Any chance we could watch trading places again? <laughs> we should. Yep, Ron Legato says he misses movie night. You know, we kind of transitioned over to UFC on Saturday nights, but yes, a movie night might be a, might be in order. One well, of these I evenings. tell you, good luck getting back to play Trading Places. I, I it took me months of browbeating. Yeah, to he, to trade there were so many times he suggested Trading Places and he never played it. He went to the Mandalorian series before it. <laughs> The only time he finally did it was when it was a weekend where no one was going to attend anyway. So he's like, all right, let's do the trading places. All right, no one's going to watch this anyway, so let's get this garbage yeah. out of the way. I um, I would say VeChain uh, Bitcoin is probably strong here. This looks like a retest of the lows. This does not look like we're going to break down super further here and keep going. Yeah, I mean, we've got the point of control right in this area. We can... We bounce off it, kind of wicking into it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't necessarily feel bearish on the Bitcoin pairing here because of this point of control retest and uh, the, the bullish... Uh, getting kind of a bounce off it from here but for right now on the usd yeah. pairing, there's nothing for us to do here 
I, I would say that look for higher v -chain, lows. Yeah, V chain warrants keeping our eye on, but until we're back above the daily baseline um, and we make a new high, then there's there's nothing for us to do. So, all right, that that is uh, the suggestion. That concludes the V chain analysis. Jose Alves in the live chat, guys, I have to hop out. Kids are going crazy. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone. All right, Jose Alves, enjoy your family, dip. bud. Uh, come back later. Check out the timestamps. If you have a request still pending, we'll probably get to it. You can use the timestamps to reference that. That goes the same for the rest of you. If uh, you missed your favorite chart during the course of the show, you're tuning in late, just check out the show on the replay. We're going to have timestamps up shortly after the show goes uh, well into replay mode. All right. Uh, let's get into the next one here. Thank you to everybody who requested VChain. Uh, this next one, I saw people requesting. I don't even know what this is. Can you take a look at SOTI, C-O-T-I, due to the uh, FA and low market cap, working with Cardano, creating Cardano Pay, Link, etc. All right, so this must be some new coin making uh, friends in the space from Link to well, Cardano. The in the privacy sector then, right? C-O-T-I coin. What is C-O-T-I? Coty. I have actually, have I you, have heard have of you, it. Have you fucked with Cody yet? No? I, no, I, I've just heard of it. I Let's heard see here, about yeah, C O T I, and it trades its biggest uh, markets. Binance trades against Bitcoin. It's got about seven it's million. Binance. Cody BTC C O T I. Put, I think you put Sodi last time in Binance. I think. Oh, I think you're right. Yep. C O T I, seven go. million in Bitcoin volume. Well, that so, looks pretty weak. This is almost the same chart as VET, basically. Yep. Here we are below the daily baseline. We're retesting up. We've got our, our short signal right here. This is short, man. This is a short, I say, no buy resistance. What's next? All right. That was quick. I like it. Let's move into the next one. Yes, guys, we are more conservative traders here. Maybe not so much conservative, but we're just really well measured with our moves. So if you're if you're a moon boy freshly arriving on our shores, you may be a little disappointed. We're not going to tell you to pump and go all in on these coins while they're still trapped under resistance. I saw somebody earlier make a an interesting comment in the live chat, something along the lines of like. Uh, uh, take a shot every time you hear Alex say trapped under resistance or don't buy resistance. Oh, dude, you'd be like wasted that. in like the first 10 minutes. It's okay, guys. We're here to uh, preserve. He just wants capital. you to know not to long resistance. <laughs> yeah. Don't get yeah. wrecked, guys. We're not here to just don't hype you up. Don't short support, guys. Don't, yeah. sh don't short support. Hey, did I tell you guys to short 30k Bitcoin? No, I didn't. Why? Because we don't short support. We don't long resistance. Yep. We're doing it real here, guys, and live on the air, trying not to get anybody in trouble at the same time. So take consider all of this uh, words of wisdom, guys. If, if we're not pumping your bags, don't feel bad about it. Here we go. Uh, Jose Alves says, is this, yeah, this is the next one. Jose Alves says, Jason, can you enlighten me a bit on what caught your eye on yesterday's BTS chart? Wait, I, I thought Jose left. He did, but... Did uh, he did have this comment queued up for much earlier. Yeah, no, it's, that's from a well earlier. I did answer that, but um, he thought that I had taken it the day before and it popped off, which wasn't the case. This actually just was one of my 13 EMA systems that I look at the alt markets with that happened to get us give us a full signal on January 19th and just never gave me a reason to exit. Wow. And then over a week ago, pop off. Wow, yeah. all well over a week ago. So that's well pretty, over a week. pretty awesome. Goes to same, these... same times I put in my hedge. It's like it shows you how systems trading works, guys. Yep. You don't really have to think about what's about to happen. Just follow what you back tested. And then that's he, the beautiful thing. About and then it. he had exposure to one of the most epic pumps in BitShares history. Yeah, so. and and everyone's talking about Doge over here, and they're sleeping, right? Well, let's look at BitShares. We haven't even looked at it today. Yeah, let's take a look, quick look at BitShares. It did okay. That's not too shabby. New all-time high. Yay. I wish I... I don't know why, but when I put it into three commas, I usually, especially on a low set, would crank up my uh, trailing stop to at least like 12%, 13%. But some, for some reason, I left it at 6 So it, it got my last TP out at 120 sats, but it was still a uh, 25% trade. Like Beautiful. Put it in the bag. On to the next one. On to the next one. Yep, yeah, I... 
this would definitely be something that I'd be out of at this point. Yeah. It's like, like, like when, that's what blows my mind about like the Doge chart and stuff like that. Like all these people, if you're coming out of the woodwork to talk about what something the media has already talked about, the people who are playing it are already out. You're the one left with all the risk now. Yeah. Yep, that's something we were talking about in the live chat yesterday while all the Doge boys were busy we're celebrating. telling me how much $500 means to them in one day. Yeah, I was telling them how, how the real dynamics of the market works and how the whales dump on you. And, I'm pretty sure uh, you blew a lot of mines last night. <laughs> uh, I think I did. And uh, for everybody who was like, no, nah, man, my uh, my Robinhood's still working. I can still buy this thing. Listen, guys, try try buying more than $20 or whatever you are on. Try, try uh, getting... Uh, getting a bigger order filled in Robin Hood. Those were the guys getting rejected, just to clarify mm -hmm. what we are talking about yesterday and who was getting uh, rejected from making Robin Hood orders. But, all right, so we had BTS off the list. Thank you to Jose Alves. Hope you got a great weekend. Go have fun with the family. Next one is from Crypto Junkie. Can you check out WanChain, W-S-A-P? This WASP, WASP app, I guess. One, 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 one. WS. It is a short at the end of today. So I would suggest you get out. Just get out. Run. Ooh, funding rate is crazy high right now. Almost 20% on, on Bybit. Wow. I just saw that. That means we're probably going to go up because it's really expensive to hold along right now. Wait, no, if, if funding is really high and that means retail is probably offside, so we'll go down, right? Well, here's the thing. I, I usually think about the inverse of it, and I, I think that it would actually pop up to the top first before selling off, but... Yeah, well, because... I mean, we could definitely go go towards the top. Well, that's what I'm uh, saying. I, th I think that this might be indicative of within the next four hours that we might have some uh, play to the upside here. Okay. Oh, six. All right, thank you for doing the. Wasp How's sushi looking? One, uh, sushi's on the list. If you want, I can drag that down and get that. Do do that oh. one next. Alex, you want to do sushi next? Or you want to keep moving along? According. Uh, sure. Sure. It's hold holding pretty solid at eight dollars. All right, this next one comes also from Jose Alves. At some point, requested sushi USDT on the daily. Interesting chart. Um. I would suggest to you that we are at resistance. Therefore, um, we're not going to buy here. Wait for the daily close. Yeah, it, this looks like it really looked like it was going to make a new right, high right here, but it did not break this right here. It did not break this high. Breaking this high right here it does not matter. It's, this high has got to be broken. We didn't. So uh, it's not a short, we're not below the daily baseline, but I would suggest to you that we are still at resistance and we are not going to buy this spot. So. Uh, you guys know the drill. Don't buy resistance. Next. All right. Succinct. I like it. Let's keep the ball moving. Spin Dizzy said, someone said earlier they think BTS pumped from people typing in BTC wrong. Uh, from the from the conversations I heard last night, there's that's a real possibility. <laughs> Spin Dizzy also says, uh, Moon Boys get hype. Empty your bank. Yes. So I guess this is a form of snitches get stitches uh, moon boys <laughs> moon boys get liquidations you better duck and cover guys they're, they're firing shots in here all right uh, all right we did wasp already we need to do zill next poly b requesting zilly and i thought i saw some other people requesting I, zill as i think well. zill i think zill took quite a hit on the btc pair. zilly zilly zill yeah, I'm sure the uh, because I mean Bitcoin pumps so much more than Zildin, so I imagine mm -hmm. the Bitcoin pairing did. Um, I'm glad we got an exit signal on our short yesterday, which is just as well because we probably would have gotten stopped out on it here. Um, I still think Zill looks like a short though. We're still trapped below the downtrend spread. We're still below the daily uh, baseline. So overall, um, I mean, and look at the weekly. Don't you think that's a little weak looking here? What happened to all our uh, bullish momentum? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd, where'd it go? So um, I would look to grab Zill, maybe around four cents. I like this spot on BPVR. Where did this go? Let's... There we go. 
those are my feelings. I, I would I would look to grab it around four cents and not be in it here. We even have a weekly sell signal. So and that's already confirmed. We already have it from earlier in this week. Time transformation is telling us to stay out. So all in all, don't don't buy Zill. What's next? All right, let's not get into Zill in that case. Let's keep the ball rolling. This next one comes from... How do I keep coming across one chain? All right. Uh, this next one is from the Bricks requesting Dash and Mona coins. The Bricks. There is nothing for us to do uh, because we're, we're crossed under here and we've got no momentum. But I, I will say that overall, Dash is in a good position to bounce here. We don't have a lot of bearish momentum here. Sellers are petering out. Uh, we've got a consolidation area here that we're sitting inside of right now. We're above the daily baseline and we've held this trend line. So overall, um, I would be interested to see if we can get a bounce off of Dash here, but I don't know that we will get a bounce off of Dash here. Uh, I would, uh, you could probably take Dash back up to retest uh, 125 or so. I would be shocked if we just like kept breaking down here. Even if we ended up trading sideways out of here, we might come back up before breaking down. So. Overall, uh, I think you might be able to score a dash long in this spot, but it'd be a little tricky. Your stop's going to have to be down here. So, your, uh, your call how you want to handle this. But uh, overall, I would suggest to you that right now, you probably shouldn't be in dash because we're below the daily baseline. So, you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> yeah. So, you're telling me there's but, a chance. All right. Next one's Mona, by the way. Let's get into Mona. All right. I think if for whatever masochistic reason, this would not be a bad place to buy. Uh, we do have a point of control in this area that we've come back down and retested. Uh, but I mean, if you look at this chart, why why would you do that to yourself? Uh, yes, we could be, we, we could maybe be catching there on that lower time frame, or more likely going to retest the actual support down here. So, I think don't buy Mona. Where are our downtrends? We got a downtrend here. There's an argument to be made. We broke out of the more parabolic downtrend. We're retesting it here, but we have to hold it. Overall, look, we just don't have any buy signals on Mona yet. And, and if you're buying this area, you're gambling. You're gambling that because the other alts are looking decently well in this spot, the Mona is going to continue to you know, appreciate off of this bottom. And we don't know that. Look at this weekly trend. Look at the weekly trend. Look at the weekly trend and tell me that it's a super great idea to buy this spot right here. It's just, you know, I just don't see it. So, so if, if we got a good buy signal, we could probably take it back up towards uh, 13,000 sats. I can totally see that back up towards that point of control, but that's purely speculative at best right now because, like I said, we really don't have any kind of uh, buy signal that we want to be taking. So, um, what's next? All right, that's Dash late, or Mona, ladies and gentlemen. Pass, hard pass on Mona. Cool name, but hard pass. All right, let's keep the ball rolling. We got the next uh, quest coming up. David Rice. We did Zill, but David Rice is requesting. Can you look at Zill Bitcoin if time allows, says David Rice? Uh, we'll look at it real quick, real but. Quick. 
We're hanging out in the new trade zone, man. Nothing to do. Um, I do like the retest of the point of control right here. But now that we're like kind of crawling below the daily baseline and we're below zero on our oscillator and we're getting short signals, I suggest to you it's a little weak looking. So um, stick with uh, staying out of Zill. Look for it around four cents. I don't know what that's how that's going to reflect on the Bitcoin pairing. But uh, yeah, stay out. What's next? Staying out. All right, moving on to the next request. Shoutouts to David Rice, a super regular in the chat. This one comes from Subtext. Uh, requesting more, she says. Uh, AMC USD, break, uh, BlackBerry USD, GME USD, all on FTX. Uh, yeah, are, all, are these available on TradingView yet? All these? Uh... Uh, well, uh, they, they, they are, but looking at the data on FTX is not going to do us much good because, again, we've got like 11 hours of data. But they mirror the price action of what's going on on the actual stock market. So we'll look at the stock markets, like we'll, we'll look at the the markets themselves, and then you can use that information for uh, what's going on there. So, all right, Jimmy. Uh, looks pretty wilty here. I would. You know, yesterday I was looking at this, and when we hit four hundred dollars and some, and some, I, I was, I could not help but thinking, I would so sell this, I would sell the hell out of this level mm -hmm. if I were trading this stock right now. Especially with that gap um, you saw, like, geez. Yeah, the huge gap up, but we closed it. Well, we did close mm -hmm. it with that uh, when they when they closed the GME markets yesterday, and the hedge funds pushed price back down to one hundred twenty. Because I mean, it wasn't retail trading. Retail was closed out. So this was this was the hedge funds. Um, I would suggest to you that we look a little weak here on the hourly. We're crawling back below the hourly baseline. We uh, we retested resistance right here. We rejected again. But overall, I would be I would probably be short in this spot. Although maybe it's like not necessarily a great idea to be short GameStop these days. But I mean, I, I'm just talking colloquially. I would be looking for a lower time frame scalp short from this spot if I were scalping short GameStop. We're, uh, we're, that not, means we're not dealing that, with we're not dealing with a regular animal on this one right now. Yep, uh, we've got a daily sell. Jack moved that fan off the router. Uh, it looks like it was a very short hiccup, but yes, it looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Stream is back up. Sorry for the interruption. Now streams back up, I think. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're back up. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Fingers crossed. It stays up this hey. time. Hey. My apologies, everybody. I know there's an extended interruption. I'm very sorry for that. Yes, I have a new router. Yes, I have a fan pointed at it. And it uh, still doesn't seem to do it. I don't know. I'm very sorry, everyone. Uh, the good news is, is my ISP is offering me a new modem, a new router combination, along with a new plan to maybe fix this issue. Gonna try that soon, hopefully fixes it. Wait, what? this isn't the new router? This is the new router, but then they have another plan, including okay. a different router, a different internet package that's gonna include a new router. Assuming my problem relates to the router and not something else. Yes, I've tried different routers. The router got hot, so I tried to put a fan on it, thinking maybe the router's overheating. When I'm streaming, I, I don't know, guys. I'm at a lack of ideas. I can troubleshoot damn You're near everything. You're just too everything. hot to handle. Yes, we we've been going. Alex's Tommy gun, uh, rapid fire analysis. analysis melted down my fucking connection. All right, for some reason I can't connect to Alex's stream. Give me one sec. All right, I might have to restart my Discord. Hang tight, guys. Let's try to fix this. Here we go. I'm back and tuning into Alex's stream. I've got Alex back up in a second. Again, guys, I'm really sorry for the interruption, but we should be back and operational again. All right. Yes, we are. Everything's running smoothly. Fingers crossed that we can at least get through the rest of the stream and these requests.
before it gets any gnarlier around here. Trust me, guys. Jack's covering every single. I try to cover way, all the bases, yeah, way guys. That this could, and could, could why, go wrong. Trust me. <laughs> and that's why I am genuinely ashamed that it deteriorates to the standard. I'm sorry, guys. I don't live in the city anymore. I don't have that primo, primo fiber optic. At my, that good, at my does home. it have that good good have I checked network bandwidth yep I've checked it all guys much thanks I, th I appreciate everybody's uh, support here and I do apologize for the giant interruption to today's show it happens let's hope good? We, let's hope we stay online from here guys alright um, Alex was in the middle of going through what's probably the most important markets to even be looking at today so Alex, I'm sorry, but you might have to get into it again. I think GME. Oh, that's right. I okay. So GME, I think we got through, but let's let's start from AMC Nokia and, and BlackBerry. You didn't get to. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, GME is tentatively a uh, is tentatively a short from here. Uh, we're below the hourly baseline right here. We're getting short signals on WADA. But overall, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily want to be short GameStop in this environment where they're like hunting shorters. So um i would just say i would just advise there's nothing new for gamestop here in this spot if we could get a pullback towards like you know ninety dollars hundred dollars hundred forty dollars somewhere in this range down here um then then i would maybe be a buyer again but for now i would i would say that i i, I certainly wouldn't want to be stuck in gamestop over the weekend either so i would say just stay out for right now Uh, AMC, as you can see, we've got a sell signal right here. Uh, it looks like, looking very similar to to. Uh, what a weird looking chart, man. To GameStop, yeah. It's just like so gappy, so, so we strange. Didn't, yeah, we don't even have a full uh, gap fill here for AMC. Uh, we're bearish on the hourly. I would suggest that there's nothing to do here. Also. I think uh, I think Nokia is still bearish in this spot. However you want to draw it, we just we haven't broken uh, trend resistance yet. And are potentially trapped below it. So uh, yeah, and sell signal right here. So I would suggest nothing to do on Nokia and then All right. BBW stock is it's also telling us something to do right here. Actually, I would suggest it's even slightly more bearish than uh, some of the other ones. The three and four hour. Hmm. I feel like we have good support below us here in the, in the 12 to $10 range right here. I actually, I think we might push down into this area and then come back up and retest like the 20 buck range. So I, I don't dislike BlackBerry in this spot. And we've got, we've got this break of the downtrend here in October. So, and then we've made a new, uh, we've made a new high in this area. So this is, uh, this is relatively a good spot to be picking it up from as a, a retest of these previous uh, consolidation areas. It's here too. And we'd be looking to take it up into the uh, $30, $25 range. Yeah, which is where we were just tapping up there. All right, so uh, these are the meme stocks. Generally, uh, I think they don't look so hot, but BlackBerry is interesting. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's get into the next request all right victor ivan zada zida zadi probably zadi is probably how you pronounce it victor ivan zadi request zil usd which we did vet usd did we do v chain i yep. can't okay yep. so we did v chain finally cardano usd but he also has a more uh, general question uh, which is, are they good for the long term? So he's not just asking about a short term TA. How do our boys feel about 
uh, Zill, VChain, and Cardano uh, going from here. You got either, either one of you have long term bags? The only long term holds are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Everything else is yeah. way too risky to have for a long term hold. I don't You can hold, hold it for the bull market, sell it when the bull market's over, walk away, man. Safe I don't hold advice. either of them. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm more of a, a systems trader in the sense that I don't even really usually care about what chart I'm looking at as long as it looks like it, there's an opportunity to trade it. And I'm with Alex. I'm usually just a Bitcoin, Ethereum, then a few others on Coinbase that give me good uh, APYs, but that's about it. Yep, I'm the same way. I don't hold any of those. Um, but, uh, you know, all promising projects uh they are top yeah. 50 coins they're not they're not nobody coins do your own they're, research they're if you like it invest projects. cardano i'm pretty sure i mean sure you is. can you can trade them you can hold them for a few months i mean that you gotta you gotta sell them after a day or so but yeah. if you're looking to hold them for a few years like this is too much risk look at how many of these projects ever made new all-time highs again that were unrelated to bitcoin like if you look at the bitcoin pairings they still haven't made new all-time highs against bitcoin They've only lost value against Bitcoin. So for the most part, it is there is a chance that alts will gain value against Bitcoin. Link has done very well against Bitcoin. A few other alts have. But, I mean, it's it's kind of a crapshoot. You're, you're gambling, right? And long-term holds are supposed to be investments, right? It's supposed to be like something, you know, basically guaranteed. You're holding it long-term. It's going up over the long-term. That's why you're doing it long-term. If it was, like, really speculative, you just stay traded or some shit. So I my advice... For a long-term holds, stick to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and maybe a few of the better-looking speculative ones, like you know, one percent in DOT or something like that. So, yeah, you know, uh, theta or, or such, stuff that. But any anyway, the overall, I would advise you just don't have any long-term holds in alts, period, and you will do much better in the long term. Yep, we are quite of a risk-averse bunch here, guys. We actively trade. This might not be a completely about building capital. I, I'm not, not risk-averse. I just, I, I, or at least I know some of us are, but I'm not. But I don't like taking stupid risks either. Like I'll no. totally YOLO something, but I'll YOLO something that like makes sense. Most of these, they don't make sense. They, they don't make sense in the long term because they go through because of these bull bull and bear cycles. Indeed. All right. Uh... Might not be the answer you're looking to hear if you're new to the channel, but yes, that's just our take, guys. Don't shoot the messenger. With that said, uh, all three coins that you listed are, I mean, Cardano, I think, is top five or top ten coin. Uh, these are still legit projects, so I don't want to pretend like they're uh, complete crap, but yes, uh, you know, we're very much kind of a maximalist bent here, and uh, our analysts are indeed traders more so than long term investors at least when it comes to anything besides uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, for instance, everything else. Well, you know how our traders do. They ninja in and out of markets. They capture gains and not much more. They're not here to... Uh, to we don't have to sit in it when the volatility goes nuts. Yeah, they're not here to marry, you know, trying to, telling uh, either of our analysts to marry their Cardano bag for years to come. It's probably a no-go, so that's to give you some context on why you got the answer that you did victor but thank you for the request thank you for hanging in there as long as you did for us to get into it with that said we've got that done let's get into the last few requests we've got uh 12 minutes are left they, are the they show. big requests because i still want to look at forex and cfds we only got okay minutes, in that so. case i'm going to list them off and you tell me which two or three you want to do <clears throat> all right first one is from uh, Mr. Ether saying XVG on privacy perp. Uh, maybe he's just referring to XVG being added to privacy perp. Not too sure. Uh, no, 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 no. XVG is well, Verge was originally Dogecoin Dark. You guys who are new might not know that Verge is a Dogecoin hard fork. I think with privacy enabled stuff. It's it's a total shit coin, but that is what Verge is like made out of. Uh, so. He was explaining why Priv Perp had pumped so hard, and it was Verge. Okay. Ah, I see. No. No, that extra explains we it. We didn't all. even have a signal. There was really nothing for us to. No way for us to get into this. All right, we got a question here from Jonathan, 
and he says, hey, from what I've seen, AMC's a long-term stock that will be over 25 in a year from now. So I'm holding. Am I crazy for thinking that, or is that definitely possible to you? Well, um, I'm not sure how much we can comment Anything's on possible, future but prospects. But what do you guys think? AMC's I a don't... good long-term hold? No. Why would it be a good long-term hold? Yeah, I mean, a movie's going to come back. Like... Theater, buddy. like someone's using this as a, a, a siphon to liquidate and use it for liquidity it's the liquidity trap man it could make sense if you're thinking like i'm going to buy it super low and hold it for 30 or 40 years and then surely amc will recuperate by then they will probably recuperate by then unless they actually do declare bankruptcy and i know that they got a 900 dollar 900 million dollar infusion of cash cash so that they didn't have to declare bankruptcy but i mean that will only last so long. I will say that the CEO, um, he was talking, and he sounded pretty sure that AMC would be able to make it through all of this. Uh, but, you know, you're taking a pretty big risk uh, on movie theaters recovering in any meaningful sense if society has changed enough that people just, like, stream everything now and don't go to movie theaters much anymore. Mm-hmm. It's like what what if just what if the uh what if the pandemic changed people's habits what if there's no such thing as a summer blockbuster anymore or you know everybody just streams it from home anyway um call me when sure amc amc could make it over 25 bucks long term i mean it just like it hit 20 bucks over the weekend so uh, sure fine but if you're asking me for long-term holds i'd be pretty suspect yeah call me you're letting the media get a hold of you you guys want a sure thing for your long-term holds, not a speculative risky bet. Yep. Yeah, um, buy, buy Bitcoin. Call me when AMC develops the stream movie theater experience direct-to-home model, and uh, they become the next Netflix go-to for home streaming. Because right now, it's not looking too promising in terms of us ever getting our butts back into movie theater seats. Am I right? Okay, I'm going to list off the last last few requests remaining. Alex, you tell me if any of these sound interesting you want to look at. Uh, Raleigh Aban in the live chat requesting ICX. Uh, Bird in the live chat requesting Nano. Is it breaking out? Uh, Bird requesting Matic, asking if it's a fake out. Uh, David Rice saying check out fun of course uh, Ivan X requesting win USDT uh, Spree McGee requesting stellar lumens Spree McGee. Trevor Kentop requesting FTM and lawn and finally Thomas Loff Yurik requesting EOS so EOS Phantom stellar yeah, guys, I'm sure they all look interesting but like, let's finish up with the broad markets I, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry We'll get to them, you know, next week. Yes, I, we I, you guys all. know how I feel about the markets. The way I feel about the markets is that you should probably be flat unless you've got like a really strong long signal on your system. If you don't have a system, then just you should probably be out of the markets. So I, I would really like to go over this in the last 10 minutes. All right. Let Alex, uh, he has been, uh, we're working him like a horse at this point. Let's uh, let's give him a bit of time to uh, catch his breath and cover the markets that he wants to look at, guys. I know we can't do them all every day. Sometimes we get inundated with requests. So thank you, everybody who submitted requests. Sorry we couldn't do them all. Uh, much love to everybody who did submit one. Alex, let, uh, let's let let's wind the show down with how, how you see fit. Okay. Uh, ultimately, I'm... We're in a Zao short that is just, uh, it's just been kind of going sideways. I think we entered uh, over over here in this area. We, we reshorted here. Uh, so f- far, we're waiting. We just, we don't have any sort of exit. So, so we'll see how it goes. Silver is having some interesting follow through here. He will have a buy signal at the end of today on silver. We're above zero. Bot is firing. We're above the baseline here, below the qualifying line. So everything's good here on silver for a long. Uh, platinum uh, looks like it's winding up for a really good short in this spot. We've crawled below the daily baseline. Now we're really staying below there, and we're waking up into it as resistance. I say platinum's a short. Brent Crude trade sideways for two weeks. 
consistently putting in lower and lower highs on our offer. Look at this. And now we're below the daily baseline. Brent crudes are short here. Uh, we just, we don't have the WADA uh, volatility to give us the short, but I might take it anyway without it. This looks fantastic. Guys, food price going to be insane. Um, corn's along again. New high. Look at that. Strong trend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's curling up exactly the same way that we were talking Man, about. Man, I opened up a natural gas long yesterday, and we got slapped in the face on this. Mm, yeah, for now, though. Did, did it hit yourself? Well, I mean, it's an exit signal, so. Well, I mean, we're below the daily baseline, man, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. Gosh dang. It is what it is. So if you took the natural gas long, sorry, guys. We're going to be exiting it later today, probably. Soybeans, short territory. But I would be concerned about shorting it, considering what, what's going on with corn. Sugar is in short territory. Uh, West Texas is uh, obviously very similar to Brent crude, so this is short for us. Nothing to do with wheat. We're in the no trade zone. Aussie economy is a short, just like the American economy. Chinese A50 is a short. France 40 euro is a short. Hong Kong 33, short. India 50, it's been a short for like a week here. Japan 225, short. Guys, short every economy. This looks rough right now. It's a good week on these things. So yeah, this is going to be a weekly uh, short signal on the Netherlands for us. Look at that. Weekly sales signal on uh, Japan, on India. On Hong Kong, on France, Chinese A50, and this looks pretty convincing right here. This is this is like a triple top on lower time frames. Look at that. So we 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 really found <laughs> resistance right here. We have found resistance, Houston. Yeah, and, and look at that. That's a super rejection right here. We even had a, like a little That's bit of a fake out up. And then super boom. rejection. Super rejected. If you're a, if you're Australian. To move. That's how this rejection is. Now that's not a rejection, uh, guys. I, that's a rejection. And then, and then, of course, and then, of course, we've got the uh, we've got the Russell 2000 huge sell signal right. Here. Look at the volume. That volume. You tell me this doesn't look weak, guys. Oh, oh, we, we tried to make new highs, and now we've got a bullish, a bearish engulfing candle on the weekly here for SPY. For those of you who don't know what an engulfing candle is, it's where 